Hey everyone, welcome back to Worldly Wandering, where you join us on our trip to Australia, where we are flying with Singapore Air from Heathrow to Melbourne. Our flight starts on a Singapore Air A380, the Airbus, and then moves on to an A350. So we're gonna review the two and compare them for you. You can just see here the baggage that we're taking with us. So three suitcases between the two of us for three and a half weeks, a rucksack for me, a handbag for Amy, and a small carry-on suitcase which has a change of clothes for us to change into after a shower in the lounge in Singapore. A good top tip if you're traveling long haul. Getting to Heathrow was a breeze and then the business class check-in desks at Terminal 2, also known as the Queen's Terminal, were really straightforward and the process was an absolute breeze. Security with fast track was great. We then moved into Terminal 2B which gave us access to the Singapore Air Lounge. So this is their Silver Chris Lounge out of Heathrow. I didn't get any filming within the Singapore Air Lounge, but this is located, as I said, in Terminal 2B. So you go underground and access the satellite part of Terminal 2, where you're going to board your flight from. Boarding from the lounge was super easy, very fast, and the selection of food and drink in the lounge was great, even for 7am on a Thursday morning. It was then only a few minute walk from the lounge to get onto the A380 for our long slog to Singapore. Our flight was SQ317 leaving Heathrow at 10.50 in the morning. Aboard the aircraft, you've got the traditional lay flat seat that you'd expect with a nice cushion. Then you've got the airbag in the seatbelt as well. Here are your seat controls. What's slightly strange about the A380 is that in order to pull your leg rest up, you have to go into more of a lay flat position or a casual position, but then you do have the ottoman that you can pull out and that becomes part of your lay flat bed. You've got one power socket in front of you and then you've got the divider that raises between you and the seat next to you. As you'd expect from most long haul carriers, as you leave, you get a hot towel for your hands and face as well. I love the in-flight safety video that you get with Singapore. I think it's really nice the way they've put it together. Um, and what's great is they've got a differing one between business class, first class suites, and of course, economy as well. I'm going to come on to the food and drinks that we had during the flight and the book for cook. But one thing that I'd like to say is the service that you experience with Singapore Air through the cabin and the cabin stewards is absolutely exemplary. They knew my name, they addressed me by my name every time they came up to me, which was lovely. And all told, it was just a beautiful experience. Look, flying's not comfortable for anybody, but I'd certainly say that Singapore Air do their best to make it as comfortable as possible for you. So in a second, there's gonna be a video that goes through the book, The Cook. This is something I've not seen before with other airlines, but I think it's a really good function. It allows you to pre-book your in-flight meals and choose some really tasty stuff um, and really different things that you wouldn't normally experience on an aircraft. Two weeks before the flight, you're able to view your in-flight menu, but even before that, you're able to view the pre-bookable menu called Book the Cook. There are more options available when flying out of Singapore. So obviously with that being their main hub, you get more choices. But when we flew from Heathrow, there was a fantastic amount of choice still. And when we flew from Melbourne back to Singapore and then obviously back on to London from then, the food options from both Heathrow and Melbourne were both really good. Between the two of us, we obviously couldn't have everything on this menu. However, we both experienced some book for cook options from the chicken curry to the lobster thermidor, which is on the screen now, which I wouldn't necessarily rush back to order again, but to be able to have lobster thermidor on a plane was certainly a novelty. We both had the Angus beef burger, which was fantastic. And coming back from, Singapore, uh, from Melbourne to Singapore, with that being a sleeper service, there was a more reduced offering uh, for food there and, and only one serving and at that point we both had macaroni cheese with um, a steak which again something we've not had before never had a steak on a plane never had a burger on a plane but both of those 
would absolutely recommend. The Lobster Thermidor, maybe not so much. As you'd expect with every airline, of course you get the paper menu as well, which at least gives you something to read during your flight if you've fed up with movies. This one gives you both Singapore to London, London to Singapore and other services as well. Shows you a list of lunch, breakfast options, the sort of nibbles that you can get throughout the flight at any point, as well as the choices of coffee and the choices of alcohol. The alcohol selection on Singapore Air is frankly brilliant. It's really, really good, really like it, a lot of variety. Um, and what they're choosing isn't necessarily the cheapest either. So for example, the Pikes Riesling that you see here is a, I would say, mid-priced bottle of wine. Don't get me wrong, it's not first class, but it's still good for an aircraft. There is, of course, the port on here as well, which I had on the way back, which was really good. Um, and I'm a particular fan of their Japanese whiskey as well. Being Singapore Air, we couldn't get away with not trying the signature Singapore sling, which was great. So, all told, the experience on the A380 was brilliant. There's something about flying on the biggest aircraft that still flies, and it just being brilliant. Upstairs is super quiet. You can almost talk to each other in a whisper and still hear each other. It will be a shame when the A380s are put out of service. I would strongly recommend trying to fly on one, but you are noticing at times now that some of them are a little bit more worn than the newer and more modern aircraft. Although this one that we flew out to Singapore on, we think had just been for a refit because there were certain things on the one that we flew from Singapore back to London on that just seemed a bit tired and damaged. So this one was definitely, definitely better. So we've made it to Singapore Airport. Changi Airport Terminal 3. The overall review of our experience on the Singapore A380 was incredibly positive and one that I was happy to repeat on our journey home and would be absolutely happy to repeat again. Flying in business class gets you access to the Silver Chris Lounge, which I didn't video, but what I did video is the shower facilities there. So very simple, you walk up to the reception desk, you grab a buzzer and you wait roughly half an hour for a shower. The one thing that I would say is just be mindful of the automated toilet seats and the heated toilet seats. If you're not expecting it, they are quite amusing. But otherwise the showers are perfectly clean and a welcome, refreshing break. So as I said at the start of this video, this is a bit of a comparison between the A350 and the new Airbus A350, which is what we then flew from Singapore to Melbourne on. Completely different seat design with this little cubby hole for your feet to go into. You also get power on your right hand side as well as um, headphone jack as well, which is nice. Now bear in mind if you're sitting the other way, that on your left hand side, so in the middle. You've got some more storage, which is nice. And then your tray table pops out um, from that bit there. So you just push it and it pops out. Nice little cubby hole for your feet to go in. And then you've got a few extra little cubby holes to hide things and store things in as well. Uh, one at the top here. You've got your sort of like um, shelf for your drink to go on just down there on the right hand side. And then a vanity mirror as well. On this one, the screens are not touchscreen, which I believe is an A350 design, whereas on the A380 they were touchscreen, but to be honest, I think that's great because the screens stay much cleaner. So as I said, you get two headphone jacks, one where your seat controls are and one where your power connector is, and that's great because when you're lying down you can change um, where your headphones are plugged into. You get these three different angle of reading lights as well. And the seat controls being physical buttons, I have to say are much easier than the A380. On both aircraft, you get this controller, which you pop the button on the left hand side and it comes out on a cable, which you use to control the in-flight entertainment screen. On any long haul, of course, the way the bed lays flat is super important. And on the A350, it's very clever. The back of the seat folds forward and then folds out to create a complete lay flat bed, 
that then has a sort of mattress applied on top. Now I'm five foot eight and I have to say I wouldn't fit, want to be an awful lot taller um, when flying on this but it was pretty comfy. So what you've not seen yet is the food and that's now what I'm going to show you. So we're going to go through a couple of drinks and food to be ordered on the aircraft as well. Starting with the Singapore sling. Now there's a mix between the A350 and the A380 which you'll notice on the different colours of the seats. But there you've got some of the tea. This is how they bring it over to you. So a nice little bowl for the tea bag to go in as well as a napkin just to mop up any drips that you may have. And if you've flown with Singapore Air before, you'll know about the chicken satay. So they bring over this chicken satay with sort of the chicken skewers and then the satay sauce that you can uh, apply on top as much or as little as you want. Then moving forward from here, we have one of the appetizers. This was a duck salad. Here we've got a salmon and egg salad. The only shame is that the cutlery comes from what seems like the fridge, so the cutlery is always absolutely freezing. But here's the beef that I had. So this is mashed potato, carrots, and broccoli with this. We've got here the beef burger. Might not look the most appetizing burger you've ever seen, but I tell you what, it was extremely tasty. The lobster thermidor, which as I said, novelty on an aeroplane, not sure I'd order it again. We've got a lemon kind of lemon posset type thing, which was really tasty as well. Not quite sure what happened with the image on the next one, it wouldn't rotate for some reason. But we have the chicken curry. Really fragrant, really, really nice with a, a nice amount of warmth to it as well. When you order a curry on a plane, you're always worried it's going to be too hot. The macaroni cheese with the steak that I mentioned earlier in the video. And then we also have coming up now a cheese board. And then finally for pudding, we had a blueberry cake, which was lovely. And that's where I got to sample the port that they offer on the plane. And lastly, who can forget Singapore Air's absolutely incredible breakfast noodles. And now we've reached the end of the video. So what did we really think about Singapore Air? Well, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. The food, the service, everything that you would expect from a premium airline and one that was voted the best airline in 2023 and I can absolutely see why. The A350 is a much nicer aircraft inside in terms of the way that it's laid out. I think the seat's more comfortable, the entertainment system's better, but that being said, the peace and quiet that you get on the A380 with it being so quiet on the top deck is just absolutely amazing and you really should try and fly on one at some point if you can. I hope you found the video interesting. If you've got any questions, please feel free to comment and we'll get back to you. But if you can make sure you like and subscribe to this channel, then that would really help us know what kind of videos you want us to bring more of.